Gemma Collins has reportedly bid farewell to the BBC, after the state-funded broadcaster just couldn't afford to match a lucrative offer from a rival to host the star's hit podcast. The former Tally star, 41, is said to be following in the footsteps of Strictly Come Dancing star Dan Walker, Andrew Marr, and Emily Maitlis, in taking advantage of a commercial deal and leaving the country's national broadcaster. The Gemma Collins podcast has been one of the BBC's most popular podcast outputs over recent years, even spawning a dating advice spin-off, The Love Lounge. But after three years, the GC has found a new home for her audio baby. Not only is Jenna's new deal more lucrative, a new host will also allow her more editorial control, following previous discussions with the BBC about having more of a say in the final cut of her show. Speaking to The Sun, a source close to the star said, she has quit the BBC because she managed to negotiate an amazing deal to take her podcast elsewhere. Gemma is getting paid a figure that the BBC just couldn't afford and will be getting far more editorial control. Gemma loves the BBC and knows they helped get her podcast to where she is now. But this move will help keep her career moving. Insider added that the reality TV legend plans to be even more outrageous when the Gemma Collins podcast returns later this year. Gemma is said to have signed a commercial deal for five times the salary she received at the BBC. The Mirror has approached representatives for Gemma for comment. recent months, the Essex native has used her podcast to give fans candid insights into her private life, including her plans to start a family with fiancé Rami Hawash. The pair, who have been on and off for a decade, have made no secret of their desire to have a baby together after rekindling their romance for good last year. spoke of her heartbreak as she admitted the couple are struggling for her to fall pregnant naturally. I really want a baby now, the star admitted at the time. I've not been using any contraception. I can't get pregnant so I'm gonna have to be brave now and look into this myself. Gemma admitted not being able to get pregnant naturally so far had been getting her down, it feels like sometimes, when's it gonna happen? Why me? The star has previously opened up about her experiences with pregnancy loss and miscarriage. celebs at mirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29